hard if you close your eyes. Brooke. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a good luck clothespin DIY. That sounds really weird when I say it, but they're cute, I promise. So I did not come up with this. Basically, last year when my team went to Summit, after we performed, um, we went back to get our bags in the warm-up room, and there was these clothespins on our backpacks. I have two on my bag, so I just think it's a really cute idea, so I thought I would show you guys how to make them too. You can give them to like a stranger and just clip it on their bag. You can give it to a friend, or you can just make them for your own bag. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to do that, and I hope you enjoy this video. Okay, so what you're going to need is some clothespins, some paint, you can use spray paint or acrylic, a solo cup, two paper plates, a paintbrush, and then stuff to decorate with like glitter, Mod Pod, ribbon, and stickers. So first, get two paper plates and put a solo cup on one of them and then paint on the other one. Then use the paintbrush to paint the entire clothespin except for the bottom that you're holding. I would recommend using your gym colors, but you can really paint it any color you want. Then when you've painted everything you can, clip it onto the solo cup. And then since it's holding it, you can now paint the bottom part that you were holding. Then repeat this process with a bunch of clothespins, and then after they've dried, just take them off the solo cup. Now you can decorate them, so I'm just using a sharpie on this one. I'm using a gold sharpie since my gym's colors are gold and black, and I'm just writing good luck on it. I would write good luck, or your gym name, or you can do it, or just something encouraging like that on these clothespins. Then I'm covering it in Mod Podge to make it shiny, and then I'm putting glitter on it. Also use stickers or ribbon or draw designs with Sharpies. There's really no going wrong with this. You can just be really, really creative and go a bunch of different ways. So yeah, that's pretty much it with this. It's really simple and I hope you guys enjoyed. Okay, so that is how to make the DIY Good Luck Clothespin. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all next Tuesday. Bye.